big parties. Our parties are legendary. Sis, we are joining. Happy Friday. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Tulu Lope. And on this channel, I create content that relates to my lifestyle, skincare and hygiene, life series and fashion. If you are interested in those kind of content, please consider subscribing below now and give this video a thumbs up because I promise you, you are going to like it. In today's video, we'll be talking about the smart money woman is a new netflix series that was released last week so i'll be sharing with you eight money lessons that i learned from the series i don't like spoilers because i want you to watch the movie and i'm not going to spoil it for you but i'm just going to be telling you financial lessons that jumped at me while i was watching the movie if you are interested in, the, in those please keep on watching so the first lesson is prioritize your bills the lead character here her name is zuri she went on vacation the movie started off with her clearing her bag and getting back into the country she had gone on vacation without making plans for her bills and when she came back the bills were stressing her out at some point she even shouted everybody should leave me alone but dear nobody will leave you alone if you have bills to pay them or you have expenses so guys, to save. before you take that vacation before you go on that vacation ensure you have made preparation to settle all your bills because you know what those bills will be waiting this for you. movie is really an interesting one they show those different ladies with their different character and from different works of life literally make this movie an interesting one leading me to the next lesson i learned which is financial planning is key you need to know how to track your expenses and also your net income because this will help you know how much you're earning and where the bulk of your money is going to and this will also encourage you to live within your means so the lead character in Suri was just spending money she was buying designer items ranging from bags to shoes to dresses she wasn't tracking her expenses she was just spending she was not living within her mid miss sorry she was spending more than she was earning which finally led her into trouble she became very very broke and she needed to seek for help so the lesson from this is ensure you have a track on your expenses make sure you have a plan on your income and the portion of your income that you will be spending also ensure that you have a strong financial planning because this is the foundation of your financial success lesson that i learned from this movie is you should not rent or buy a house that you cannot afford the lead character here again so we will keep making reference to her throughout this video because she's the lead character she had a rent she had she, she rented an apartment that she could not afford yes having a roof roof over your head is a basic necessity but having a roof more than you need over your head is not a necessity that is you doing more than yourself so in this series they showed us a landlord running after her for service charge she was very miserable she was angry because she could not afford it she was broke she did not have money to pay a rent and service charge so another lesson i learned from this movie is they showed us a different perspective and the real definition of being broke so being broke is not like you not having money being broke is you losing a major source of income that fruit that fruits your expenses so it, she still she still had her job but then her skills were abuse were spilling all over the place so guys rent an apartment in the neighborhood that you can afford and do not rent an apartment that is unnecessarily bigger than you need what is a single lady doing with a three bedroom flat i mean that movie centered around five friends and along the line they introduced some other friends to the movie that made it more interesting and they showed us different aspects of their life so the next point i'll be talking about is lose that toxic friend so the toxic friend here are the toxic friends are friends that are enabler that will be pushing you to do what you're not capable of doing and i'll create a scenario there was a part they showed us that the lead character again zuri has already started to put her finances into order and they showed us her friend tammy that knows that she's broke and she does not have money forcing her to buy a party uniform as actually as we um, normally call it to buy an actual B or party uniform for a party that is being organized by a lady that is not even a friend not even an acquaintance so guys make sure you lose those friends those friends that know that you are broke and they keep pushing you and forcing you to spend the money that you do not have 
you should lose those thoughts of friends because they will not help you on your way to being financially the thing i learned is have an emergency fund yes emergencies happen and i know you will all say god forbid but then good things still happen to good people ensure you have an em emergency fund and i will not advise that you save endlessly in your emergency fund make sure that you have emergency for you have at least three to six months worth of money that can foot your expenses for six months at least in case you lose your major source of income or your job so in this in this movie we saw that zuri the lead character again does not have an emergency fund so when her mom's house got fun got bonds she was running at that skirt and she does not she does not have money to support her so have an emergency fund or if you need to take up an insurance ensure that you do so so that when these emergencies and things that we didn't plan for happen you have a backup plan another instance of emergency fund was when they showed us and when zuri's colleague lost her job and she was panicking she was crying she made mention that she's the um she's the breadwinner of her family she foot all the bills so when she lost her job she was very devastated she was crying and running on the floor at some point she even pushed her aggression she she so have an emergency from because emergencies do you all like to enjoy life you all like the baby girl lifestyle but then you need to put your finances in order which should take me to the next point that is not all debts are good debts and i will explain a good debt is the tip that you use in buying an apartment let's say mortgage that you pay monthly at the end of the payment where you must have paid both the principal and interest the apartment or the house becomes your own which is a long time investment for you and even for your generations to come an example of bad debt is that destination wedding that you took loan to attend that that very big party that you took loan to do that are, those are bad debts and you should not indulge in that they showed us an example of a particular lady that went to the bank to take loan to throw a point to the bank to take loan to throw a party for a one-year-old boy and we saw the case where the husband was telling her that why did you do that why will you take a loan for this party and she was like you know we throw big parties our parties are legendary sis we are judging you we are really judging you shouldn't take a loan to throw a party because that kind of debt is bad debt or you take a loan to go on a destination wedding or a very big vacation that you cannot afford the sad part of this is the time you spend in paying back those loans is not the same time that you spend in enjoying the trips or whatever you have spent the money on so guys do not take loan for that vacation do not take loan to go on that destination wedding do not take loan to do what friends do for friends when you cannot afford it lesson that i learned from this series is invest in yourself and also it is never too late to start putting your finances in order yes invest in yourself because you are the biggest and the longest asset you're going to have take up that course that will help you in understanding financing and investing better if you know you are not good at something take up a course to help you learn and there are a lot of avenues and um, platforms that you can learn these days you have the udemy you have facebook even this youtube this is my video that you are watching watching can help you to improve yourself personal growth is a thing that you will keep doing for the rest of your life you are not done improving and growing yourself and it is never too late to put your finances in order when the lead character saw that the way she was spending money was bad and she was moving from one struggle to the other a new boyfriend shola helped her and introduced her to a financial person that helped her that guided her in tracking her expenses and having a financial plan so it is never too late to start planning it is never too late to start investing it is never too late to uh, to learn how to have an healthy relationship with money irrespective of your age be it your 30 be it your 40 be it your 50 60 70 it is never too late to put your finances Important. so before i move to the last lesson that i learned from this series guys i would like to please remind you to please give this video a thumbs up i'm sure you'll be enjoying it subscribe if you are not yet subscribed the subscription button is the red button on the right hand side please click click on it now so you'll be subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any other video 
from me that being said let's move to the last money lesson that is the eighth money lesson that i learned from the smart money woman which is a man is not a financial plan throughout the series we saw zuri tammy lara and the rest talking about oh when they meet a new guy oh they keep asking themselves does he have money is he rich where does he work and all yes it's good for your guy to be able to take care of you but you need to know that a man is not a financial plan you cannot build your finances around another person that is you being a title irrespective of who the man is be it your husband or whatever learn to make your own money learn a craft that can bring in money to you we saw in the case of ladun here ladun is a married woman she was not working she was just spending money up and down three million here five money five million year on shopping and buying of some things that are unnecessary because they are not assets they are just clothes and shoes and all then when the death of her father-in-law came they soon realized that there is no money in the family they became broke they had to move from their apartment in Ikoi to another one in Ikorudu or Aja I can't really remember the destination in Lagos Nigeria if Lado had a job that she's doing she would be able to stand up and support our husband so as we as women should have a job that we do that brings in money to support the family even if the husband doesn't lose job debt could happen and other one loss of job and so many other events that nobody planned for i know you will say god forbid but then the major lesson in this video is you should have a thing with one or two things that you are doing that brings in money because things happen things that we never planned for Happen. so guys that has come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post a new video until i come your way next time stay chicken